Hey everybody, how's it going? Stop man coming back at you once again today. Jesus, how quickly I can get out there. How quickly can I get that one out there, eh? I'm drinking Lipton the Sparkling Iced Tea today. And munching on a few Reese's Pieces while playing my new addiction, Prison Architect. Now, I got this during the Steam sale for under five bucks, and yeah, I've been wanting to play this for a long time, and I just have become so engrossed. So, let's uh, make a new save file here. You might be able to notice in the corner there that uh, currently in the middle of a shakedown. And that is because I've had a lot of prisoners trying to escape. And it's really bothering me. So far we've found... Jeez. A shank. Two pairs of scissors. Booze. Poison. Sigs. Drugs. And shears. And more scissors. That seems to be the popular one. The scissors. All those blinking lights. Well, I guess I should show you my prison, shouldn't I? This is the prison that I have um, created. And as you can see, I like to go for the standard 2x3 cell. Over and over and over and over again in a row. There's one of my classrooms. There's a chapel. More cells. There is one of my yards. Um, this is uh, one of my uh, showers here. And... Yeah, as you can see, I've got a whole st bunch of stuff going on here. Here's the kennel where all my uh, armed dog, police dog peeps are, are at. Oh, shnikes. Somebody found a wooden pickaxe. How exactly do you get a wooden pickaxe in prison, mind you? Oh, and they found an attempted escape tunnel. Well then. Uh, in the event of an attempted escape tunnel, just click remove tunnel, remove tunnel. And that's why I did this. That's why I did the shakedown randomly, because you never know when you're going to find that shit. So, wooden pickaxe saw two power drills, a knife, Jesus, where are you going so quickly, sir? Freaking crazy, man. Everyone's liable to be searched. I have a hundred and sixty
prison cells, 159 prisoners, 45 guards, a daily cash flow of 9.654 grand, bank balance of $58,000, and I just earned the upgrade that I needed to get executions going. So we're going to be able to send some people to their graves. Oh, dude. No. I, I wanted to... I was trying to select this prisoner because he looked rather interesting. Christopher Pierce. Sentenced to one year for multiple crimes including dangerous driving and dangerous driving. No, you could go to jail for that. Mark Simpson, sentenced to 14 years for false imprisonment. Lee, the boss, S. Serial fraudster and hacker who was assisted by his trained cats. <laughs> sentenced to 22 years for arson. Wow. So yeah, this is one of the reasons that I like the game as much as I do. Because every, well, not every, but a lot of prisoners actually have like a story to them in their biography. And um, there is this whole report system where you can go, can go in and change what they do during what time of day depending on what security they have uh, going on there so this is like regular minimum security this is normal security and this is maximum security so these are the troublemakers so I like to treat them like crap because they treat me like crap these are the good guys who are probably gonna get paroled anyway so I like to make their time a little bit less difficult and these are just, you know, the everyday average people in the normal C, normal security orange. There are a lot more normals than there are minimum or maximum security uh, prisoners. So, yeah. Anyway, under policy, you can change how much you pay for food and what kind of food you provide. Under grants, you can pick up a whole bunch of grants that'll give you a little bit more money if you need it. Under needs, you can see what the uh, what the prisoners need the most. So they need to go to the bathroom, or they need to sleep, or they need they want their family, or they want clothing. Uh, yeah, jobs. Well, that's just a whole bunch of jobs, isn't it? Here you can change how many prisoners you want to take in in a day. And I have 159 prisoners currently, so I just want to take in one. Here you can see all of the prisoners. I have 15 high-risk prisoners. I have 117 normal risk and 27 low risk. So, yeah. Uh, valuation tells you how much your prison is worth. Finance tells you how much you're earning a day and what's sucking the most out of their programs. Programs is like uh, work related stuff that prisoners can do while they're in prison. So here they're learning about stuff. So foundation education program, they're learning about uh, the basics here. Uh, reading, writing, and math skills. Carpentry, they're learning about carpentry. And that's probably where a lot of these motherfuckers got their saws and pickaxes and all that crap. Kitchen safety and hygiene, this will allow them to work in the kitchen. Workshop safety, induction, this will allow them to work in the workshop. Behavioral therapy, my God, I hope that helps some of these insane motherfuckers. 
pharmaceutical treatment of drug addiction. Uh, we do not have the equipment for alcoholics group therapy. I don't know why, but whatever. Guard taser certification so that guards can use tasers and hopefully quickly stop uprisings that lead in somebody getting killed. Uh, general education qualification and death row appeal. So, yeah, there's a lot of interesting things going on here all at once. And I dig it. Searched 849 out of 851 places. And thankfully, thankfully, we only found one attempted escape. Last time, we did it because they had already escaped. And it was before this yard was built here. And I shit you not, pretty much all of these prisoners and all of these prisoners had escaped. It was a freaking nightmare. And it was the first time I had used the shakedown button. Which is why I found like 50 pairs of scissors. It was insane. Over here on my to-do list you can see prisoner intake, incident reports, six in solitary, one require medical attention. Prisoners due for release. Two prisoners due for release soon. 52 up for parole. I have a uh, parole area here. Visitors, three on site and two in groups. Staff exhausted. Three staff members are exhausted. One is resting. I should probably make a new staff area here, but yeah, they have a little area here. Education reform program. Once 15 passed the foundation education course, which I showed you earlier, I will cross this one off the list and then have five prisoners pass the general education course, which if 15 can pass this, then five would at that point hopefully be able to pass this. Carpentry, another, you know, work thing. Feed prisoners, obviously not doing a great job of that. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying. I have uh, 20 cooks. Don't say too many cooks. Don't do it. That's what I've been doing all night. Seeing too many cooks. But, um, yeah. This is actually a really interesting and fun simulation game, and I highly recommend checking it out. Um, I... I don't know when we're going to get back to, uh... Euro Trek Simulator 2. Probably fairly soon... But yes, I am very addicted to this right now, so I figured why not just uh, why not just show you the game that I'm addicted to instead of showing you typically the, the typical same old uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, yeah, if you want to see more of this, just let me know, and I will totally, totally do that. Um, Sorry, I was just noticing something here. There's no... Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> if you would rather just con me to continue to do your Trek Simulator 2, that's cool too. Uh, currently, that is my plan, is to just show you this from time to time, to show you how my uh, prison architect prison is going, and then... Um, have the base game that I play be Euro Truck Simulator 2. So yeah, if you want to see more of this instead of Euro Truck Simulator 2, let me know, and if I get enough uh, requests, then yeah, maybe I'll do that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.